The Caesar Morning Show warns teachers of principal clowns in America. To find out if your principal is a principal clown of America, go to myapenow.com. That's myapenow.com. Or call us at 770-347-8797. If you are a member who would like to add your principal to the clown list, email us at aggressiveprotection at yahoo.com. Now, let's talk about these clowns with Caesar. Hey, did you know APE represents only teachers and not administrators? We believe representing teachers and administrators together is a conflict and just plain crazy. Teachers, you will never have to worry about who APE represents when APE shows up at your school. Newsflash, if you are part of an organization that allows principal clowns, quit today and join the most powerful and aggressive teachers union of the South. Ape, call us today at 770-347-8797 or go to myapenow.com or email us at aggressiveprotection at yahoo.com. Oh yeah, Caesar is home. The Caesar Morning Show warns teachers of principal clowns in America. To find out if your principal is a principal clown of America, go to myapenow.com. That's myapenow.com. Or call us at 770-347-8797. If you are a member who would like to add your principal to the clown list, email us at aggressiveprotection at yahoo.com. Now, let's talk about these clowns with Caesar. He shot that ball. He gave teachers a pay raise. I'll tell you, he shot that ball. You know, you remember a couple months ago, I was on here raising a lot of hell about Brian Kemp going down there picking the governor if he don't uh, uh, adhere to his own campaign mess that he was going around talking about. Well, I don't want to be so aggressive on the governor today, okay? (laughs) Uh, I don't want to be too too aggressive on the governor. I've been beating up on the governor ever since he took off. But I can tell you what, Brian Kemp shot that ball today by giving on Friday teachers a raise. Man, I'm telling you, they had a raise like that since Zell Miller. I'm telling you, man, he gave the teachers a great raise. So I tell you to, to the governor, good job, governor. You keep keep up the good work. You did a good job and I'm proud of you. And uh, I'm going to lay off of you for a while now, I guess, until you do something else stupid. But right now, <laughs> I'm about to bag off Governor Kemp for doing a good job. So we appreciate that. Teachers appreciate appreciate that. You know, we need uh, we need you know money. We need more money, more resources. I'm always talking about more resources, and we need more money. And when governors and superintendents and board members and when they can understand that it takes more resources and and more money to to, you know and and to be appreciated uh, of the great teachers that we have teaching our students and when they can do all those things and all that all that rent I just spoke about when they can do those things then we're, we're, we're getting somewhere we're starting to move the needle a little bit the needle begins to move a little bit and and I just wanted to say hats off to him for that, okay? Because I'm sure he had a lot of people against him, against him telling him not to do it. Uh, but he 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 did it, and we are happy that he did it. Okay, and we are very excited about it. So thank you, Governor. And uh, I guess I won't be picking you on next week. So thank you, Governor. Okay. Now we want to also tell you about. 
if you want to be a member of the most powerful teacher union in the South, you can join for free this month only. You can join for, for free this month only. But if you have a pre-existing condition, you will have to pay the pre-existing cost. If you don't have one, then that's fine. Uh, but either way, you can join for free uh, this month only. That means you can be a part of the most powerful teachers union for free. You can join, go to our website on the service, click the link on the membership, and join for free this month. Is that all right? I think so. I think that's that's tough. I mean, that's a that's not bad, uh, you know. So to be a part of the most aggressive teachers union, uh, the teachers union every school system afraid of. I think that's a good thing. I think that's that's awesome. Okay, so we're asking you to uh, check that out. Go to our website. Go to myapenow.com, myapenow.com, and you can see you can join and be a member on today. That's right. You'll be blessed on today. And be a part part of the the movement. This is a movement. Georgia teachers fight back. I have a new article article coming out, and I'm working on that article. And the name of that article, I mean, the name of our blog is Georgia teachers fight back. Okay. And then in my next article, I'm going to be calling out, calling out these superintendents for what they are. Okay. Now if we have some good superintendents. Okay, I might not mention the good ones. Okay, I'm just I'm probably just going to mention all the bad ones. I might miss some good ones. I don't know. We'll see. But we're going to be calling them out. Now, this is what we want to talk about. We're going to talk a little bit about the law. Okay, because I know you always want to hear something containing to your life. Okay, and um, so we always like to start off with the rant. So you got the rant, the rant. Now we're going to give you a little bit of substance. Going to give you some law. Okay. And I had an old bishop, you know, before I became ordained, I got, a, I had an old bishop and, uh, it, it, I always believe in giving people the new Testament, um, but the bishop said, no, they got to have a little bit of the old, the old law. Okay. So I'm going to give you a little bit of the law. Okay. So we're going to give you a little bit of the law, a little bit of the law today. We're going to, so you'll know, so this is a very important. So I hope you're writing this down. Because this is very important. If you miss this, my friend, you could be non-renewed this year. I hope, I hope most, most of you have already uh, have gotten your contracts. But if you miss this, you can be non-renewed. You don't want to miss the deadlines and all that stuff. So you need to hear what we have to say today. Is that okay? Let me put my glasses back on, okay? I'm going to put my glasses back on if you don't mind. We're going to give you a little bit of the law. We're going to be talking about 20-2-940. 20-2-940. 940. We're going to be talking about that as soon as we return. Thank you so much. Hey, did you know APE represents only teachers and not administrators? We believe representing teachers and administrators together is a conflict and just plain crazy. Teachers, you will never have to worry about who APE represents when APE shows up at your school. Newsflash, if you are part of an organization that allows principal clowns, quit today and join the most powerful and aggressive teachers union of the South. Ape, call us today at 770-347-8797 or go to myapenow.com or email us at aggressiveprotection at yahoo.com. Oh yeah, Caesar is home. All right. Um, so let's get right into this, okay? 20-2-940. 20-2-940. And 20-2-940 talks about you have a right uh, to a hearing if you're a tenured teacher. If you're, if you're not a tenured teacher, if they try to terminate you in the middle, middle of the year, uh, which is too late now, but if they... Uh, tried to re, uh, uh, terminate you in the middle middle of the year, you, w- you would have a right to a hearing uh, as if you was a tenured teacher. But if, uh, but if you have gotten a non-renewal and you are a tenured teacher, and you, that means you have signed the fourth contract and you are uh, a tenured teacher, okay, then you have a right to a hearing. Okay? And if you're a member of eight, we take care of all that for you so you don't have to worry about all that. But I'm just saying this, these are things that you need to know because some teachers get these notices and which they had to send this notice to your certified mail. 
that you're going to be non renewed nor renewed and you have to receive that by may 15th if they don't if you don't get that by may 15th you have a contract okay the law said they have to may 15th to get that to you certified it can't be may 16th may 14th it has to be before uh it has to be i'm sorry i'm sorry it cannot be after may 15th my, my fault it can't be may 16th may 17th may 18th it has to be May 15th, postmark, certified. If it's not, then you have a contract. If they try to give you a hard time, you need to call eight if you're a member of eight, okay? But I think all our members okay. And, and the ones that joined, we were able to take care of them as well, this, as well this year. But you need to know that, okay? That's the first thing you need to know, okay? So if they don't send that that notice to you in a time in a timely manner, then you have a contract. But just look at the code section a little bit, okay? It says, such notice shall be given by certified mail or statu uh, statutory overnight delivery, okay? And must you must have it by May 15th. That's 22, that's 940. And it talks about uh, you having the right to certain procedures and safeguards before you can be demoted. So it's important for you to know that. So 22-940 tells you about the safeguards, uh, your rights that you have before a school system can terminate you. And and it's important for you to know these dates and times because you can miss these dates and times. Remember now, this is the flip side to this. Them, okay, after they, they have sent you this certified letter saying they're going to move to norm renew, you just say they got the letter to you on time. You got it on time, okay? And... Okay, first, let's say if you didn't get it on time, you have a contract. We talked about that. Now, let's say they got the letter to you on time, okay? You have 20 days to put it in writing to the superintendent of that school system just, and tell them that you want a hearing. You just can't assume that they're going to give you a hearing, okay? You just can't assume because you're already tenured that you have this right to a hearing, okay? You have to request the hearing yourself as a teacher. So, if you got a letter that's saying that you're going to be non-renewed, then you need to send a letter. It don't have to be a long statement. Just uh, uh, telling the superintendent that you would like uh, a hearing under 940, 20-2-940. And you have 20 days to do that, up to 20 days. If you do not have that turned in by the 20th day, they don't have to give you give you a hearing. Whether you're tenured or not, they don't have to give you that hearing. So you got to understand that the school board uh, attorneys already don't want to give you a, a hearing. They want you to just go away, right? So if you miss that, they're not going to say, oh, okay, we really care about you having this hearing, and we care, we really care about due process, so we're going to, don't worry about that, we're still going to give you the hearing. It's not going to happen, okay? So these are dates and times that you need to know, okay? It says, um, make sure I got everything here, I didn't miss, miss anything here. Uh, okay, it says a teacher who is so notified that he or she is to be demoted, or that he or or he, I'm sorry, or or that his or her contract will not be renewed, has the right to procedures set forth. Set forth, and these are the procedures I told you about. Okay, and one of them about that you had a teacher within 20 days of the day of the notice that you have you got to let them know that you want to hear it. Okay, and I would tell a teacher, I tell teachers all the time to all the time to send that certified to send that certified mail back to them because you know they can lie and say we didn't receive never put that in like a regular mail oh, and make sure you get a return receipt I always uh, tell teachers you know send it back to them send it back to them saying you want to you want to, to superintend that you want a hearing and then and uh, and get a return receipt so you'll know when they received it that's important too because they're alive I've been through this I've been doing this for almost over 20 years representing teachers and they tell lies. They lie. Say they never received it. And so, if you don't have the the proper documentation, I'm just you know they're really just run something over uh, over on you. So know that. Remember May 15th. Remember we talked about that. So these are some safeguards. I just wanted you to be aware of this morning. I mean this afternoon. I just wanted to tell you about so you'll know. Because it is very important, my friend, for you to do, to know your rights. And you and I said I say this every time I come on this, the season morning show, even though we're in the afternoon. I, you know, on Saturdays we try to come on in the afternoon around two o'clock. 
And I try my best to try to drive home to teachers that you you know, you just have to be a part of a, a union that's going to fight for your rights. We had a guy yesterday join, uh, eight yesterday, because he un- this person understand that we teachers are in the fight for their life, and this individual understood that he un- he listened to, I'm sure the uh, the show every morning. He understands that you must be a part of aggressive teaching you need to protect your livelihood. So we had someone to join yesterday. <laughs> Excuse my friend. So if you really want to be a part of the most aggressive teacher union that's going to fight for your rights, join eight today. And join before it's too late. Because these principal clowns will destroy your career. I see them do it all the time. And I tell teachers, join before it's too late because you never know. We had a great year this year. We're happy about all the the members that we was able to protect that got uh got their contracts and the ones didn't uh, didn't want to stay at their, their their school. We were able to help them with a smooth transition and the ones that wasn't an eight member, we was able to uh, to protect and guide them as well. So we're very excited because we had a great year this year. Great year. And we still have people join, Nate. That is very exciting, my friend, when you still have people joining the organization even when school is getting ready to end. That lets you know how much, how powerful the Association of Professional Educators is, how, how powerful we are. And how we fight for the rights of teachers. So I hope you was able to get some some valuable some valuables some good value value valuable information today. I hope you understand twenty two nine forty. If you don't understand it, you need to join eight. And how you do that is simply by going to our website to my 8 nowcom and go under service and click uh, membership and join the most powerful teachers union. On the in on the planet. Thank you for listening. Have a great day. Hey, did you know APE represents only teachers and not administrators? We believe representing teachers and administrators together is a conflict and just plain crazy. Teachers, you will never have to worry about who APE represents when APE shows up at your school. Newsflash, if you are part of an organization that allows principal clowns, quit today and join the most powerful and aggressive teachers union of the South. Ape, call us today at 770-347-8797 or go to myapenow.com or email us at aggressiveprotection at yahoo.com. Oh yeah, Caesar is home. <laughs>